Hello, my name is Tanya Popoff, and I am thrilled to be joining you today from my home in Vancouver, British Columbia. We all wish we could be there in person, at the barn, sharing wonderful music and community, but we are so grateful to Carrie and Andy and the board and everyone who has made this virtual festival a reality. Thank you for joining us today. I would like to start my program today with a piece by Malia Watrous, who some of you might have remembered from previous years at WCM, phenomenal violist and a wonderful composer. Her piece, Prelude, she wrote for her former teacher, Atar Arad, also a wonderful violist and composer. In 2014, she wrote it for him. It's a fun, short piece, and it uses a very unique technique for string players, which is called score de tura. And that means that one or more of the strings is tuned to a different pitch than normally. And in this case, it's the second from the highest string is tuned down a tone, which gives it a unique sound and timbre. And that means we have two C's for this piece. So I hope you enjoy Malia's prelude. Thank you. 
ne next piece I would like to play for you is by Canadian composer Milton Barnes. I first played a piece of Milton's in 1998. There was a Canadian concerto competition at, in Edmonton at the Resound Festival, and it's where I reconnected with Carrie, and after that we stayed in touch, and it led to playing together in a quartet in New York, and all things wonderfully musical since then. So ever since I learned that first piece by Milton Barnes, I knew there was this amazing solo viola piece that he had called Lamentations of Jeremiah. And this was a perfect opportunity to learn it, so I'm thrilled to share it for you today. Uh, Milton Barnes was born in 1931 and passed away in 2001 and wrote this piece in 1959 originally for cello, interestingly enough, and then he immediately also made an arrangement for viola. Um, it is based on a stunning Rembrandt painting about Jeremiah pondering the destruction of Jerusalem. And if you want to look up that painting, it's um, typically phenomenally Rembrandt um, in the power of the emotion in, the, in his face and the lighting and everything else that um, is characteristic of Rembrandt. And I really feel that complex a range of emotions is, is present in this um, piece called Lamentations. Milton Barnes was a wonderful composer, conductor, and a jazz drummer. And a lot of his pieces have a lot of jazz element in it, but this piece is characteristic of his other um, noted style trait, which is his Jewish heritage. There's a lot of Jewish sounding phrases in this piece, and especially pondering the destruction of Jerusalem. There's a lot of par powerful portrayal in this piece. I hope you enjoy it.
The next little piece is a total change of pace. It's by another wonderful violist and composer, Garth Brooks. Nope, that's wrong. Garth Knox. <laughs> Garth Brooks is not a violist. Garth Knox. Um, he is was a violist in the Arditi Quartet and for, for a few years, and then he ventured off on his own and has been doing a lot of solo playing on both the viola and the viola d'amore for many years. The viola de more is played like the viola, but it has at least six strings, sometimes more, including sympathetic strings, which are strings that run kind of along the body of the instrument through the bridge and attach on the other side, but you don't play on them. They just ring when the other strings play. So he's done a lot of really interesting um, compositions for both instruments. And the piece that I'm gonna play now is called Up, Down, Sideways, Round. And it is um, a fun kind of character study in all the different ways you can use the bow on the string. Tapping and swishing and scraping and knocking with the wood. And it's just a fun, lighthearted um, uh, whirlwind of a little character piece called Up, Down, Sideways, Round by Garth Knox.
were hurt in the making of that piece, even though it gets kind of wild and fun and acrobatic at times. Okay, the next piece on the program is by Igor Stravinsky. This is going to take us back to a bit more of a somber um, tone. It is called Elegy, and it was written in 1944 in the me for the memory of Alphonse Onou. Alphonse Anou was the founding violinist of the Pro Arte Quartet, which is one of the mo most phenomenal quartets that ever existed and the longest quartet that has ever been in existence. They were formed in 19 1911, and they, I believe they still exist. They've gone through many member changes, but they're, um, they led the way for a lot of things quartet-wise to happen. Um, the violist of that quartet, um, Germain Prévost, commissioned it from Stravinsky in honor of his longtime colleague, Alphonse Onou. It is um, played with a mute entirely throughout, so it gives that additional layer of kind of an inward meditation in memory. So here is Stravinsky's Elegy. It is the only piece that Stravinsky wrote for viola. So we are very honored to have this phenomenal, gorgeous piece.
I'd like to end this program today with someone to watch over me. And this arrangement for solo viola was done by my friend and colleague in Houston, Texas, Lorento Golafif. Thanks, Lorento. Thank you.